Hey everyone, welcome to my unboxing of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag for the PS4. That's right, this is my first video game unboxing for the next gen console, the PlayStation 4. And of course, it's my favorite series, Assassin's Creed. You might have watched my footage on my old channel at 10SK5, but I'm going to be playing Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag here on my new channel, Descent. So here we go. We have, it says, online, only, I say online, only on PlayStation 4, 60 minutes of additional gameplay. Nice. All right, so we got the logo on the back here. It says, collectible 18-inch Captain Edward Kenway figurine, exclusive 80-page art book, 28 by 48 iconic pirate flag with crest, official soundtrack, still book, game case. All right, over here, rich open world playground, enhanced naval gameplay, award-winning multiplayer, you play and you play passport. One player, 20 gigs minimum. Two to eight network players. Remote play. That's awesome because I have here my PS Vita. Yay! So I get to use my PS Vita with Assassin's Creed. Awesome. All right. So online play optional. DualShock 4 HD video output. Full 1080p. Unlike the PS3. PS3 used to output 720p, but here we go, 1080p with the uh, Assassin's Creed 4 for the PS4. All right, you unite under the black flag, it says right there. Cool, cool, cool. And of course, rated M for mature. Blood, sexual themes, strong language, use of alcohol, and violence. All right, so let's unbox it. All right, so we got this right here. Check it out. Ah, it was like the flag, the tin, and the art. So let's go ahead and unwrap this stuff. All right, so here we go. We have the flag. There's the logo. It's the same logo on both sides. So, see, same logo on both sides. So that's pretty cool. All right, next up, we will do the art book. So art book is next. Okay. Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Got a compass on the back and the Ubisoft logo. Some artwork. Mansion, nice, nice. Got a ship. Pretty cool. So, it's like some naval warfare, a temple of some sort. There we go. And then we got the credits. All right, so here we go. Here's the tin, very shiny. On the back, we got Edward, and the pistols are shiny as well. On the side, so that's Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Let's open it up. All right, so on the inside, we got Edward right there. We also have our Blu-ray disc, PS4. We also have our soundtrack right here. And we have the ship in the background right over there. That's cool. Nice. Got some exclusive content for reserving it at GameStop. Unlock your exclusive content. Black Island Missions. Um, Pirate's Bounty. And Captain Kenway's Legacy Pack. Also have our Uplay Passport. Inside. Got some information. There you go. All right, sweet. All right, so we got our manual here. Cool. Inside, 
Got some Uplay stuff, advertisement, cool. Got Assassin's Creed, Initiate, there we go. On the back, it has exclusive content. Unlock your exclusive content now. So you get to play as the protagonist from the PS Vita version of Assassin's Creed. So that's cool. 60 minutes of additional gameplay. Okay, here we go, everyone. This is the uh, the step-by-step -step process of setting up Edward. There we go. You gotta connect that to that, that to that. Put the sword in the hand. Then we have this rope in here, which we have to wrap around here. Slip it through the hand. Stick it underneath the boot and tie it around there. So let's see what the finished project looks like. And there we go. We have the Edward statue right here. So let me set up the camera properly. There we go. Okay, back a little bit. So here we go. Uh, of course, I wrapped the rope around up top up there. Got a sword in his hand. Uh, I did. I think I did it a little bit differently though. He has the. Uh, in the picture, he has the rope going this way. I decided to just have the rope going here. My own little modification to it. That's fine. Um, then I tied it up right here. I got some extra string right here. So it's a little bit loose. It's not too tight. Just wrapped it around there just to give it the presentation that it's supposed to look like he's uh, raising the flag. So I can always tr trim that off, snip snip that off if I want to or I can wrap it fully around or tuck it underneath the rope but I didn't want it too tight somewhat a little bit loose but I got it to work got the image that I wanted that's cool uh, let's take a look at it there we go check it out <clears throat> highly detailed very cool um, one thing I must say is that he's bigger than um, the Ezio Collector's Edition that I got for uh, pre-ordering Assassin's Creed 2. And he's bigger than the um, Connor statue that I got for uh, pre-ordering Assassin's Creed 3. Back here. See, I got his cape around the pole. Give it that nice 3D effect. Got that extra piece of rope right there. Cape blowing in the breeze. That's pretty cool. All right. In a second, I'm going to do a side by side comparison of the uh, three statues. So give me one second. Continue going through this. And the picture he has the blade going through the um, the flag area right there between the base and the flag. That's why I tried to go for right there. Put the sword in between there. Somewhat worked. Just gotta position him just a little bit. Get it properly. But uh I like it. It's very detailed. Check out the eyes. See if we could get in there. You know me, I like to zoom into the eyes. See if it'll focus. See if it'll focus. Gotta do my little trick thing here. Like that. And there we go. Now, uh, check out my hands. It's a little bit black. I guess it was, it came from the actual painting of it, from the paint. All right, check it out. There we go. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, it was a biznatch. I, it came from this part right here. Because uh, I was trying, this part is really tight, so you have to really jam it in there. I like use my entire strength to crush it in there, a Hulk smash. Like, so, <laughs> yeah, so here's some of the paint that came off of this right here. So, yeah, there we go. All right, so, uh, one second, I'm gonna get the, uh, the other two statues and put them next to Connor. I mean, not Connor. I'm gonna put them next to Edward. Okay, everyone, so here we go. And there we go. 
Got my guys right here. All right, so we got Connor. We got um, Etsy over there to the left, and we have Edward in the center. So let's uh, see what size comparisons look like. So they look about the same. Just um, Ed Edward is uh, stretching his legs out a little bit more, but looks about the same size. Now we're gonna do uh, Ezio. Ezio is a little bit smaller, just a little bit. Ezio figurine, but yeah, I can't really tell the difference between Connor and the uh, Edward size wise. Now it just depends on who who do I want in the center. Right now I'm liking the way this is looking with the three. But I kind of want my American flag displayed, you know. <laughs> Actually, that's supposed to go like that. There we go. There we go. I guess we could have maybe Etio in the center. Like that. Something like that. Looks, that looks pretty cool. Or maybe, let's see. Let's try switching them around. Let's see like that. Yeah. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I like that. I like that. American flag. Cool, cool. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Put them a little bit right there in the back. And voila. That looks pretty awesome. Cool. Now all all we're missing is Altair and um, the girl from the Assassin's Creed PS Vita version, and then we'll be complete. That would be pretty cool if they came out with a uh, uh, what's her name, Aveline, Aveline. So that would be awesome. And then the Altair statue that's about Ezio's height. That would be pretty cool. But there we go. That is my unboxing of Assassin's Creed 4. Right here. There we go. I hope everybody enjoyed this and I can't wait to play it on the PlayStation 4. It's right around the corner. Can't wait to pick it up. So until then, I will see you all next time for my live you stream if that works out. Or Twitch stream because Twitch is now added to the PlayStation 4. So you might see me on either Ustream or Twitch, but um, I'm going to try it, try to figure out some way of recording my footage and uploading it to YouTube. I just got to figure out a way to record and get past this HDCP. So yeah, that's going to do it. My unboxing of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag for the PS4. Until then, I will see you all next time. Peace. All right, and there we go, everyone. I set it up like this. It just barely fit in my detolf cabinet right here. Uh, Edward is kind of his uh, flag is sticking up a little bit behind there. But yeah, I uh, was able to fit him in there nice and neatly. And there we go. A couple more. To collect Altair, if I can find a good statue of him, definitely gonna throw him in there. And Aveline. So there we go.